Colorado Springs, at the base of the Rocky Mountains, is all abuzz with the IDR Pikes Peak. Wherever the electric racing car with the number 94 shows up in the days leading up to the legendary mountain race, it is turning heads. And at the qualifying, Volkswagen's first fully electric racing car showed that it is the main attraction on the track. Omar Dumas drove the record time that day, 11 seconds faster than the best car with a combustion engine. This earned him the right to be the first person on the track this Sunday. We had a great, a great run. We already, we already focused also on the race. We tried different things, but it uh, was a very impressive lap time at the end, and we have P1. So I think it's important for the race to start first, to be sure to have a clean road, you know, not a lot of, with no gravel. However, at the qualifying, the pilots don't drive the entire track to the summit. Instead, they only do 8 kilometers out of 20. Dumas did it in 3 minutes and 16 seconds. That's a record. The intense testing effort of the days leading up to the qualifying was worth it, and the Volkswagen team will continue to improve the car, all the way up to the race on Sunday. Every tenth of a second counts. And for sure, improve yourself, improve the car. So I will improve the car, you know, by, by different setup we will speak about now. And also myself, I have to look some uh, video, you know, and to try to gain some tenths of a second. I'm sure it was a small margin, a bit less day after day, but it was a very, very cool and nice run. I enjoyed it a lot. It was, uh, was very impressive. I mean, a prototype like that in a you know, in mountain, you, when you start to feel the downforce on the steering and on your neck, it means you are, you are quite fast. For two years now, the record for electric cars has stayed at 8 minutes and 57 seconds. The qualifying shows that Dumas and the IDR Pikes Peak have it in them to beat that time. On one condition, the weather needs to hold up too. This being the Rocky Mountains, there is always a chance it won't. Statistically, there is snow on 18 out of 30 days in June. The suspense continues.